Alright, hello and good evening YouTube and welcome back once again to the PT Cruiser series. So as you can see, we're on day 48. Well, I took the liberty of off-streaming all of the license challenges except the super license because there's only like two races you can do with the super license. And one of them is the F1 thing, so I don't think we're going to use the PT Cruiser in that race, but... I wasn't gonna get, I was not gonna get the rally license either because you know it just seemed like there was no point considering that they probably don't have dirt tires for the PT they have dirt tires for the PT Cruiser so basically that just opens up an entirely new dimension of possible races for us to win in the PT Cruiser but now now the question is can we win the third race in the Clubman Cup now that we have that small little upgrade with the uh, GT Auto, um, what's it called, uh, oil change. Is that enough to push us over the threshold and get us into victory lane in the final race of the Clubman Cup? We're about to find out. Alrighty then, let's try this one again. The third race in the Clubman Cup. Can it be won with just a PT Cruiser? Let's go! I'm not quite fucking sure how I've managed to do this, but I'm actually doing even worse than I did in the other attempt. I can't even get around my own PT Cruiser brethren. Perhaps he is the true PT Cruiser champion and I'm only a poser. Oh, this one's gonna be tough. Oh god, well, uh, yeah, we still can't win this first race. I mean, it may take a second try, but I feel like I improved as that race went along, so hopefully, hopefully attempt number three, third time's the charm on this one. The only reason I bothered finishing because there is $900 there, so I may as well get something out of this race. My god, this is embarrassing. Can we get this race win at any point in time? That'd be very, very nice. God, side-by-side -side traffic. Oh my god, get out of the racing line, you bitch. This is my track, you can't do this to me. Alright, well this version of the race is certainly going a lot better than the last one, so maybe we'll actually manage to get it done this time. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, remember what I said about this version of the race going better? Yeah, I was lying. Yeah, I have absolutely no words for this. This is getting ridiculous at this point. I think I actually am closer to, the, to that guy this time than I was the first time, but I still managed to finish fucking worse. Maybe someday we'll finish this race. You know, I was really excited for this series. I thought it was going to be really deep and interesting, but no, it's just the same race over and over. Oh my god, guys, we are really close this time. Ooh. Ooh-wee. This, this could be the one. Come on, you bitch. That's right. That is right. All right, so that's the hardest part of the track right there. So I just need to be smart for the rest of this lap, and we got this. Ooh -wee. Oh my god, dude, this is honestly one of the most intense or most intense races I've ever done. And you know what else? I am gonna cheat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm really sick of doing this race, so basically what I'm trying to say is that the answer as to whether or not you can finish the final race of the Clubman Cup with just a PT Cruiser is yes, we're the winners at long last. And that's finally $1,000 for me. And of course, we have unlocked another car as a result that we can't use because this is the PT Cruiser playthrough. So obviously there are certain races with certain requirements that we obviously won't be able to do with a PT Cruiser, such as a lightweight cup. I, uh, yeah, no, not happening. Or a four-wheel drive cup. Or an A sports car cup. How about the Audi TT cup? I bet we can race against the Beatles though, that's for sure. So yeah, only 51 days into the game and we're finally done with the third race in the Clubman Cup. So that basically is telling me that the PT Cruiser is kind of swinging over its own weight right now. And honestly what we should do is just grind to some good upgrades. But that, that my friends, would be too easy. What we need next is definitely the full racing transmission which will give us not only completely adjustable gear ratios but it will also give us a bonus gear which is just going to help acceleration we've seen that the car falls back massively 
um, on the starts and on straightaways, especially against that MRS back there. Another good upgrade to get would be some racing tires. Probably some super sauce for whatever races don't actually have tire wear. But as you can see, that is $47,000 away, so we probably aren't going to be getting that anytime soon. Let's just move on to the next series of races that we can complete with the PT Cruiser, which is the FF Challenge. Front wheel drive engine, front engine and front wheel drive, but guess where we get to go? Straight back to the track that I just spent like 20 minutes sucking at. Great. That's fantastic news. It's a brand new series and a brand new set of challenges for the PT Cruiser. But I'm experienced at this track now. I think I can finally get this get this win without, you know, the difficulty thing. That's a Volkswagen. No, that's a that's a Vitz. What am I talking about? There's no Volkswagen Golf in this game. It certainly looked like a Golf, but it's not a Golf. It is a Vitz. What you see in the lead right there is a Volkswagen Lupo Cup car. That is actually one of the better front wheel drive cars in this game. Honestly, it's trash. But it is a nice vehicle because as it's a cup car, you're able to, um, it's, it's got, you know, the racing upgrades by default. But we're going to prove that the PT Cruiser does not need to be a race car in order to be successful. It already is built for pure speed. We just need to sh show it today. Yeah, this race is actually shaping up to be easier than the last one. Uh, um, because that's the Lupo Cup car, that's, uh, that's one of the better uh, front wheel drive vehicles in the game, and it's, uh, I'm kind of beating it on the whole straight line speed home front, and I, and I didn't even get the fully upgraded uh, transmission yet, so, yeah, just outbreak the Lupo Cup car, even though it's got, you know, racing brakes and stuff, probably, I don't know, maybe it doesn't have racing brakes, I don't know why it wouldn't. Okay, I was actually about ready to start talking about how I was absolutely decimating this guy, but he's actually keeping up pretty good, which is a little concerning. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are now another step closer into determining one of the most important moral questions of our times, our most philosophical inquiries into the night. Can you complete the first race of the FF Challenge with just the PT Cruiser? The answer is yes. And now we're getting bonus money, $1,500 for that win, which was easier than the Clubman Cup races. Hopefully this remains true for the remaining FF challenges. Race number two in the FF challenge is Special Stage Route 5. There's more than five tracks in this game, trust me. It just looks like there's only five tracks because we keep going to the same race tracks. Race number two. In the FF Challenge, the question is, can we complete it with just a PT Cruiser? We're about to find out. Yeah, we're just barely through the first turn, and I'm already this close to the leader. So basically, all this does is give me a lot of confidence moving forward with this series. Because if the PT Cruiser is this strong, with this few amount of upgrades, this early on in the game, you know, that's, that's giving me a lot of confidence that we have actually made the correct decision. I had a bit of a confidence breaker in that Clubman Cup versus the great adversary of the Toyota MRS. But as far as the other front wheel drive vehicles are concerned, they are absolutely no comparison to the PT Cruiser. Heavy braking into the first corner, a little bit of a bump and run there just to let him know that I'm behind him and that his lead is imminently going to disappear from his grasp. And when I say imminently disappear, I mean we're actually almost at the end of the race and I'm still in second. This is bad. <laughs> Move your bitch ass! That's right, get in the wall, you piece of shit! And the answer to the question as to whether or not you can make it to the Say the uh, the second race. This is the second race in the FF Challenge. Uh, I just noticed that there's a rearview mirror on this view, but not on this view. I don't know what changes that, but the but the, 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 the who cares? It doesn't matter. We're we're here and we're doing things. And the answer to the question as to whether or not you can make it through the second race of the uh, FF Challenge with just a PT Cruiser. The answer is yes. Another one thousand five hundred dollars goes directly to me. And now the final race of the FF Challenge, it is Roma Slurkit again. Let's go. Let's-a go. 
And in the final race of the FF Challenge, the question on everyone's mind is can you complete the third race in the FF Challenge with just the PT Cruiser? We're about to find out. And seeing as how they start the cars really close to each other at this track, we're probably going to take the lead into the first corner. So, there's that. Look at that Dr. Oz bumper sticker on this Volkswagen Lupo here. Dr. Oz, your snake oil is not going to fool me on this day. I'm driving a PT Cruiser, baby. You wouldn't know it because I keep using this camera angle, but I am definitely driving a PT Cruiser right now. See? It's a PT Cruiser. Okay, because of that one blown corner on the last lap, we're not even close to this guy. Which means you know what time it is. It is time for the Austin Cindric strategy of not even caring. And I missed. So, basically, fuck it. I love games that just don't have restart buttons. It makes it so much more easier to get through this shit. See, look at this. One corner into the race this time around. Just because I didn't have one bad corner, I'm already in the lead on lap one. Oh, 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 oh it's gonna be close. Who? Who we know? No! No, you can't do this to me! You can't do this to me! Come on, dude! Come on, you ass bag! Oh my god! I don't care, I don't care, I don't fucking care. I hate this game. Well, here goes yet another three and a half minutes of my life. Let's fucking go. Oh, would you look at that. I took the lead before we even got to the first turn again. Who could have possibly seen this coming? Honestly, dude, I could fucking die right now. I could just just crawl in a hole and never come out. I could just die immediately. Oh. Fuck you. Get your fucking bitch ass out of here. Well, I'm not sure what I did this time around. I feel like I drove the track the exact same way that I did every other attempt, but I guess in any case, the answer to is whether or not you can complete the third race in the FF Challenge with just the PT Cruiser has been answered, and that's a resounding yes. And finally, the $1,000, $1,500 that I have just had a never-ending quest to get has finally been retrieved. And the winner of the FF Challenge gets... Um... Well, it's definitely a vehicle, that's for sure. And there you have it, the first three series, nine races in total have been completed with just the PT Cruiser. However, the FR Challenge cannot be completed with the PT Cruiser, as it is FR vehicles only. Same for the MR and four-wheel drive challenge. As we've already seen, the lightweight cup is unable to be bested with a PT Cruiser as well. Which means that the next race that we can do is Stars and Stripes, American Power at its finest. These races will net us $3,500 each time we win, so wouldn't that be nice to get? But first, we probably want to get upgrades I've been holding off on this one for a while as you can see finally have enough money to get the fully racing transmission for all races that permit the replacement of all gears which I think is basically all but like two although very expensive this upgrade also makes it possible to fine-tune the gear ratios according to vehicle specs and circuit features and it also it doesn't say this but it gives you a bonus gear which means this is one of the best upgrades in the game. Before we leave for today's episode, I do want to draw attention to something. The NA races and the turbo races are very, very interesting. With the NA races, you're only allowed to drive with an NA engine, which means that you do not have a turbo upgrade on it. However, if you do buy a turbo upgrade, you just need to take it off in order to race the NA races, which means if we take a quick look over at the tune shop, I think you know where I'm going with this. There are turbo upgrades for the PT Cruiser. Now they're a ways off. $13,000 is a bit away from where we're at right now. In fact, 
We could probably just buy like no, I didn't I didn't know that it was that expensive for the NA stage one. But the point is in the future we will be able to put on a turbo kit, which means that has doubled the amount of engine races that we can do. It's gone from just the NA races to both the NA and turbo races. Which means that we've unlocked an entirely new vicinity of Gran Turismo 3, but that is in the future. That is not now. For now, let's go back to our humble abode and relish in the fact that we have an amazing car, the PT Cruiser. So thanks for watching yet another exciting episode of the Gran Turismo 3 PT Cruiser playthrough. Next time, we'll hit the track in the All-American all races and maybe even the NA engine races. But until then, until next time, this has been Kamikaze Games. This has been... PT Cruiser. Thanks for watching. Fuck! 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 I just pushed Piglet into a power up! No! Go away! Go away! Ah! 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 This is rape! God damn it, this. This is rape! Ah, where's my rape whistle?